Hi, my name is Evan Archella, and I'd like to show you some tips and tricks for Microsoft Live at EDU. Let's look at rules in Outlook Live. This is the Outlook Live interface. It looks very much like Office Outlook, and we have similar capabilities here. If we're talking about getting organized, we can use something called rules to automatically route incoming email messages to different folders within our inbox. We can also perform other types of activities using rules. How do you create a rule? Well, the easiest way is to take an incoming message. Here's one I've gotten from my intramural soccer team. Right-click it, and you can choose Create Rule. From here, you'll be able to create a rule specifically for the email message that you right-clicked. So in this case, what I'd like to do is take all future messages that come in to the intramural soccer team public group and route them automatically to a particular folder. You can see you have some other types of options here. I'm going to move this to a folder. I then need to select the folder that I want to move it to. Well, I have a folder called intramural, so I'll select that. And I can also click More Options to take a look at other types of conditions or exceptions that I might want to place on this particular rule. Once I have it defined as I'd like to, I go ahead and save it. I may be prompted, depending on uh, what type of rule I'm creating, that Outlook, the full client, and Outlook Web App or Outlook Live may process those rules a little bit differently. If you are using the full Outlook client, my advice is to continue using that to manage your rules. If you're not, you can manage them here within the browser. You just want to be a little bit careful about it because some rules created here may delete rules that you've turned off in the full Outlook client. So this dialog is going to warn you about some of that uh, issue that may occur when you're using the two different apps. But the easiest thing to do is just pick one or the other and use that as your primary tool for creating rules. I'm going to click yes here. Just go ahead and accept that. And I've created the rule. Now, another difference between Outlook, the full client, and Outlook Live is Outlook Live here in the browser cannot process that rule on existing email items. So the full Outlook client, it can process those existing items. The browser cannot. So what I have to do here is go ahead and take this, just drag it over here and drop it into the intramurals folder. Now any messages that come in from the intramural soccer team will be automatically processed according to my rule, all future messages. You can also come up to options here at the top right and look at the Organize Email tab, and you'll see Inbox Rules. You have a tab here for rules. The one I just created is here. I could create other rules from here. I could reorganize them in terms of the order that they process. So this is another area you should be aware of when we talk about rules. So right-clicking an email message and creating a rule, or coming into Options and doing it from the Inbox Rules tab. Let me go back out to My Mail so you can get a sense of how we get back out to the main view. Let me give you a few resources for Live at EDU. Microsoft.com slash Live at EDU is the main Live at EDU website. You can learn more about the program there. You'll also find the Live at EDU blog to be a useful place for learning about what's new with these tools, things that may be coming along, different changes that we're making. You'll also find help.outlook.com to be a helpful place for the Outlook Live application itself. This is the same place you can get to if you go to the little blue circle with the white question mark in it within the Outlook Live application itself. Both ways will take you to help.outlook.com. Also, if you go to Bing, do a search for Office Web Apps Product Guide. You'll get a detailed PDF on all the features that are included in our Office Web Apps applications, which are now integrated into SkyDrive, which is another Live at EDU technology. Thanks again for your time today. I look forward to having you on another screencast.